a couple of things just for some of you guys. Make sure that you remember. Now, we should be great from Do up to La, from concert B-flat to G, okay? From trumpet C to A, from uh, saxophones um, a G up into all E. Now, the last two notes we added on in sixth grade, that would be T and Do, high T and Do, high A natural and high B flat. Remember, we really do need to call these by the letter names in junior high. We're, we'll have a little bit of transition time, but ultimately I only use letters, uh, not uh, solfege for this. Um, so, hey, so T, so for, cl uh, uh, for clarinets, we have... Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, thumb, register key, low pinky paddle, low pinky paddle, top row up here, okay, make sure you're looking for that B, and then we're going to pick up the left pinky for C, okay, now I've seen a bunch of you guys do that, it is important that you can cross the break as we call it, if you're not getting that note out, remember you're just leaking air someplace, clarinets. That's it, okay? You don't need to be stronger. You just need to not be leaking air, whatever it is. A lot of times it's the thumb. Sometimes it's down here on that third finger because that's the biggest hole. The holes get larger as they go down, okay? Now for trumpet, euphonium, and tuba, we have uh, A natural, trumpets B, and then we have B flat, trumpets C. Second valve to open for that. For trombones, we're gonna have A natural, B flat, second position to first position. Every B flat, by the way, every C for trumpet is open or first position. Okay. Um, for our French horns, we have uh, the uh, the F scale. Okay. So make sure you're reviewing your fingerings for that stuff so you can play those upper notes. That gets up into the upper stratosphere for you for sure. Okay. Um, and then um, for our flutes, we have A natural. We have thumb one, two, pinky. And then we're going to an upper B flat. Same thing as the lower B flat. So T to do right? Saxophones, we have T, which is register key, one, two, three, second finger, same as the low T, with the register key, though it makes it the upper T, and then we go up to Do, with the register key is G, so F sharp to G, okay? And then, let's see, for percussionist, we have A to B flat. Now, percussionist, a lot of you may not have a mallet instrument or a piano home, so we'll have some sixth grade snare drum stuff that I'll practice with you uh, in a different episode, okay? So if you have something, please play with us. Uh, we're just practicing our scales, okay? All right, so let's, uh, let's get into it. Um, we're going to start off with whole notes in the B flat major scale. Play with me. So we've got our instrument out. You can push pause if you need to go grab that. And then we're going to go ahead and play the B-flat major scale. All right. You ready? Yeah. Ready? 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 Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Ready? One, two, B-flat, we... on the scale to a set we go <laughs> this in junior high is we're going to go up and down. Now we've been doing this, so half note and quarters. Ready? Twice. One, two. If you've got two octaves, by the way, go ahead and try it. Go ahead and try it. Clarinet, some of you are already doing that. Ready? One, two, B flat, we go. <laughs> So 
that's the B flat major scale. Now, let's talk about that E flat major scale. It starts on Fa. We started getting into this. Now, we're going to ultimately try to learn uh, E flat and F. So, um, in your um, in your method book that I gave you, uh, it has the E flat scale in there. So go ahead and look to that. If you don't, uh, you might be able to. You can find that scale on Smart Music. You're going to want to look up a two octave scale for our clarinets, flutes, and saxophones, but not tenor. And uh, otherwise, uh, and for everybody else, it's going to be a one octave. Now you can also find it. There are scales in your in your red book if you still have your red book on uh, 40, 41, 42, and then ultimately on 43, it has all the scales and should have full range scales for, for everything. The difference though is they do it kind of as a uh, two line type thing like that, whereas we're gonna start on one scale, go up to the next scale, all the way up, and then come back down if you're playing a two octave scale. Okay, so I'll show you what that sounds like. So. Uh, for a one octave scale, same thing with the E flat or the B flat scale, uh, same thing for the E flat. It's up, down, up, down. I'm just going to play it fast for you. Okay, so now for a two octave scale, for those of you, it'd be the same rhythm. It's just you're going up, up, down, down. So it's going to sound like this. Okay, so, um, by the way, I think what I'm going to do, just thinking about this now, down here in the show description, I'm going to go ahead and give you a link to the method book so that you can see the whole thing. Now, it's going to have a ton of pages, guys. It's going to have a ton of pages. Um, so, and I'll also give a link to our actual skill packet that we use in junior high, so you can see what that's going to look like. Uh, but I'll give you, but we're going to be using the method book here at some point too. So we want to make sure that you have access to that. So if you left it at school, uh, you can look up a, a PDF of this and you don't even have to print it. Okay. You can just look at the music. Okay. So, um, let's talk about that E flat scale then for our, 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 our brass players then. Okay. So for horn, this is going to be a C scale for you guys. This is a pretty easy scale. Okay. It's lower for you. So you've got open for the low C and then you've got D first valve. You've got E open F first valve G A B natural thumb two, and then you have C. Okay. So that's, that's, it's, that's pretty much what the trumpets do. Some of your fingers are altered, though. So uh, when you play with us, you'll go up, down, up, down. Okay, that's it. Okay, um, for some of these skills, you will be doing two octaves in a junior high as your range improves. Uh, you might find that you want to do a two octave scale, and I only ask for one, so it's extra credit. Uh, for trumpets, the E flat scale, that's your F, okay? First valve open, one and two. And then we have B flat, okay? T, first valve, C, Do. And then we have Re, D, first valve. We have E open, that's me. And then we have F, which is first valve. Okay, uh, for our euphoniums, it's the same fingering as tuba as well. So let's talk about you guys. E flat starts on first valve, F open, G one and two, first valve for A flat, we used to call that T, B flat, same as do. Then we have Re, C, first valve. We have D, Mi open, and then we have E flat, first valve. Okay, all those notes, first valve, Fa, K okay, for the most part, are all first valve. Okay, for our trombones, third position for E flat, F first position, G fourth, A flat third position, and then we have B flat, same as you know, okay, first position for Do, and then we have Ray third, we have D first position, and then we have E flat third position. Okay, going over to our, uh, our saxophones, okay, for our alto saxophones. This is a low C scale for you. So we're going to start off on a one, two, three, one, two, three, no register key, but the lowest right hand paddle that you have, okay? And then ultimately for you, C, D, picking fingers up, E, F, first finger, not forked, okay, first finger, G, A, B, C, come back to D, no pinky, D, register key, D, E, F, G, A, B, 
register key second finger C. That is your two octave E flat scale. Now for you guys, you might find that for, for, for altos, this gets down into your register where it's a little bit more difficult for you to play in the lower register. Some of it's because your instrument's not sealing correctly. Some of it is that you've never had to really try on your saxophone, and this is one of those first moments where you do have to try to relax, but still create the right embouchure and get the air through the instrument to make that read flat slow. Now for our tenor, um, you have first finger, you've got an F scale. Okay, so first finger F, G, A, B flat is one, two, side key. There's some side keys over here. The lowest one there, okay, is B flat. Then C, okay, still second finger, not register key. D, now register key, E, and then F, okay? Now, for our flutes, we're going to start. We got three E flats, three fa's. We've got one, two, three, one, two, three, pinky, thumb. The left pinky is not down, okay? So we have E flat, F, okay, awkward P sign, G, Wilson, A flat, we're gonna add in this pinky here. So pinky, pinky, one, two, three, thumb. So everything in the left hand. And then we're gonna go from A flat to B flat, same as Do, C, first finger, pinky, D, E flat, now we're on a regular fa, F, awkward P sign, G, Wilson, add in the pinky for again for A flat, plus the pinky over here, A flat, B flat, C, D is different up high, high knee is different, so thumb, two, three, pinky, and then for the highest E flat, we really got overblow, and that is every single finger you got. Every single finger you got, okay? Pinky, pinky, one, two, three, one, two, three, thumb. Okay, for our clarinets, we're starting on our C fingering, but we're not using the register key. So one, two, three, one, two, three, lowest pinky paddle, okay? So we're gonna go F, this is the F scale, F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F, just thumb, G, roll up for A, pinchy fingers, B flat, we used to call this Tay, and then C, okay, back around the highest note of the Do scale, the B flat scale. C, D, one, two, three, one, two, three, register key thumb. E, F, okay? So it's the same as a low B flat, a low te, but with the register key, it's high F, it's high fa. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and try this on whole notes. I'm gonna play one octave up and down twice. And then, uh, actually, no, let's not do this. So let's play it regular scale form. I'll just play it slow. I'm going to go one octave, up, down, up, down. Then I'll do it again. And I'll go up, up, down, down for those of you that are trying to play two octaves too. Okay, so you can play for both. Here we go. Ready? Instruments up. Let's give it a try. One, two, ready, we go. <laughs> two octaves here we go ready one two set this is just for those people playing two octaves if you got one you're gonna go up down up down right great here we go one two ready we go Okay, well, um, then 
next video is going to be an A2 video. We're going to use our method book and we're going to start looking at some different stuff. We talked about eighth and sixteenths and stuff like that at one point. We really didn't get too far into that. So I'm going to start working on something that's called this is A2 number one. We're going to kind of build it, okay? So that we get to the end of this and uh, you're pretty much done everything I needed sixth grade to do. So again, things that I need you to be able to do, pretty much get through the rest of the method book. B flat, E flat, and F scale, okay? The range that it's supposed to be. Now, understanding it on trumpet and brass, if it's hard for you to play the two octave ranges for the uh, the concert F scale, which it will be, then that's that's fine. That's fine. You'll you'll get better. You'll be amazed how much better your chops get having band every single day in junior high. It just it just is, okay? Great guys. Hey, I will see you in another video. Take care.